Now here is one of the real stars of Royal IAT 2006. This is the quite extraordinary, the unbelievable MiG 29M OVT. OVT in Russian meaning thrust vector control. This uh, aircraft you've seen today um, is a prototype of thrust vectoring aircraft which is built based on MiG-29M version of uh, very familiar, very known, <laughs> well-known uh, MiG-29 aircraft, which the main differences between conventional one and this one is the uh, uh, existence of the fly-by-wire control, and in particular this aircraft number 156, uh, is equipped with the engine with the capability of thrust vectoring. Now this unique pair of jet nozzles, described by the Russians as flowers of steel, has the extraordinary capability of directing the jet thrust up to 15 degrees away in any direction from straight backwards, and that gives this aircraft quite unbelievable maneuverability. Aerodynamics. There is not too much aerodynamics when we are when we are using the thrust vectoring because uh, the most important thing, thing is the, uh, that uh, the safety of flying with the uh, nozzle controls is uh, extremely high compared compared to conventional aircraft. If the aircraft goes spin and so on, you know, it can be easily recovered using thrust vector. Another thing is, and one of uh, important thing is uh, that uh, the normal aircraft, fighter aircraft, maneuvering using the high G load and so on to rotate, to turn the velocity vector of the aircraft. The faster you want to turn, the higher G you must apply to the aircraft. And the uh, uh, thrust control of the aircraft can rotate his, its, its axis or axis of weapon not depending on where the velocity vector is oriented now, on where the aircraft is flying. So it provides advantage in a situation when uh, not in the initial phase, for example, of close combat, you can rotate onto the aircraft using just normal aerodynamics. And But when the competitors losing the speed and so on, and the, the maneuvering capability of the aircraft is losing because of slow speed and so on. This aircraft can move axis of weapon, of missiles, of guns and so on in any direction. Another thing and very important thing, when you look where your nose is pointing. It's not the same. The aircraft is flying another direction, you know, so the pilot must be careful. If even you point up, the aircraft can go down. <laughs> In general, we are, we are <coughs> trying to show all advantages which he provides by the thrust vectoring of the aircraft. So the, uh, that maneuver we are performing still has no name, exact name, it's just we understand what, what we are doing. The only thing we want, we would like to show the aircraft capability, controllability and stability. 
and uh, packed it into understandable from the spectators and specialist uh, maneuvers. It's on uh, to show everything and uh, to show it in manner which uh, will be lovely for spectators only. Well, lovely for us audience, certainly, but it does have immense military significance, this. Actually, quite a lot of strategists will say that since the arrival of the air-to-air -air missile, the days of the dogfight are over, so you don't actually need this kind of maneuverability. MiG, of course, strongly disagrees. Um, they say that modern countermeasures allow aeroplanes to avoid missiles, and a fighter will soon use all of its missiles up, and then it's back to dogfighting again, perhaps with a gun, which is where this kind of maneuverability comes into its own. And there is the most extraordinary Super Cobra, 150 degrees angle of attack it goes back to there. It's unbelievable stuff. Here is another extraordinary manoeuvre coming up. The aircraft starts in the upside down position and then suddenly you find it's in the right way up position but tumbling sideways and looking as if it's in a spin and you can see from the smoke going vertically up from the trailing edge that it has almost no forward speed at all. This is not a spin. Uh, this aircraft is actually fully in control. If it were in a spin it would be out of control. And you'll not be surprised to hear that this aircraft and its two pilots over the weekend won two prizes between them. They both won the King Hussein Memorial Sword for the best overall display. And they were also awarded, at least Pavel Vlasov was awarded the As the Crow Flies trophy from the Friends of the Royal International Air Tattoo.